will there be a need for people in the workforce once all the found once all this comes to pass? Well, of course. Who's going yes. to build a spaceship? That's first. A replicator doesn't replicate itself well, so therefore we should really build them. Um, <clears throat> I think that uh, there are enough hungry people that it would keep the majority of the rest of the population of the planet busy just feeding people. How many humanitarian needs are not being met? How many things are being um, acidic in their applications, such as chemtrails, uh, chemicals in the food, uh, chemicals in the water, uh, genetic modifications popping up here and there that people really think are yummy. Uh, <laughs> you tell me that uh, workforce is not going to be needed, uh, I'm going to tell you it's just the opposite. Yeah. If you took everybody right now who's capable and put them to just the items I mentioned there, you're going to come up short by about 50%. So everybody's going to be busy. Uh, they're going to try to pick something for a person to do that fits a combination of their talents and interests and et cetera, uh, that they are at least uh, proficient at or can be. So think in terms of having your dream job. And no, it's not sitting on the, on the couch watching TV. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mentioned this uh, last week and didn't go down too well about releasing uh, the tech. Um, you know, it, even if there's an announcement tomorrow that we're going to get the free energy devices or something that's going to be a lot cheaper than what we're currently paying, you know, do we have the manufacturing base? Well, somebody's going to have to start building a lot of factories uh, and quickly if we uh, all want one uh, as, in, as of next week. And then, you know, you, you need a workforce to support that uh, once it's all built. Do we have the uh, people to build those, sufficient people to build those machines? So you're going to need training and education, uh, and uh, like an, an advanced form or, or, or sped up form, uh, to get the people to build them. Then you're going to need drivers to deliver and uh, storage facilities that are going to have to be built, and then they get delivered to the people, and then you've got to have people who can actually install these machines who are also going to need training. So the, 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 that's just one item. And then you, you go into the medical stuff. If some of these machines, we need the same thing is going to apply to them. Uh, they need to be built. People will need to be trained how to use them. So there'll be so many things that will uh, will, will require labour still. You know, uh, there's going to be, like I said in a previous show, waste management is going to go through the roof as we clear the new tech comes in. Different things will take place, and we won't need this building, or we won't need that building, or we won't need this industry, and we won't need that industry because we've now got this tech. Look at the car industry. We've got technology where we don't need wheels. We've got technology that uh, uh, that can avoid crashes, where we can, where we'd have to change all the uh, alter the roads to uh, facilitate that system. So there's a whole heap. Whilst a lot of industries, as we know it now, will end, there's a whole lot of uh, new ones will be created behind the technology and it, it takes time to phase one out and one in you know you can't just say right okay we're having uh, these new energy machines next week and let's pull all all the current system down you know it, it's got to be phased in so it will take time unfortunately but uh, there will be as drake said there will be a need for an increased workforce more participation and hopefully it will provide people with um, jobs that are better suited when it doesn't appear to be a job. If you're enjoying work, it's not classed as a job. You know, it be like a hobby. So that would be good. Um, I understand the rationale behind your comments about not releasing the new tech. But what I, what I do not understand is that this would allow millions of people to continue suffering and dying with ailments that could be possibly be helped now. 
if the new medical tech was released. Uh, some of that's going to come out real quick, by the way, just so you'll yeah. know. And we're going to need a shitload of people to build the machines. <laughs> and the jobs will pay well. Okay? Yes. Um, we've covered that one. Drake, if we are suddenly faced with an unexplained slowdown in progress and we perceive a sudden pullback on efforts, should we remind ourselves that the reason could be a new threat to humanity or an imminent danger to some white hats? Um, yes and no. But the thing is, you won't know. People won't know they're in danger until it's too late. That's part of the trick, okay? I mean, it's, it's not also- difficult to understand if you really think that um, uh, people are going to see stuff coming. Uh, <laughs> you're wrong. Uh, they're not going to walk up and say, we're going to kill you tomorrow, and then walk away. <laughs> They'll walk up tomorrow and kill you. It's pretty simple, okay? Yeah. One day, you'll, uh, most of the members will have a, an aha moment. That's all we can say on that. You know, it's suddenly things will fall into place. So you'll remember the things that Drake said over the, the many years he's, we've done this show and some of the things that I've said. And you go, ah, I can see where, where they were going now. And I can also see why they couldn't say certain things at certain times, uh, as frustrating as that may be. Uh, to Drake and I also, well, uh, safety has to be uh, the priority. Drake, what's the info about the NYSE, the New York Stock Exchange, wanting to buy the London Stock Exchange, and just who or what is behind this play? Oh, that's real simple. Um, It's not supposed to be known, first of all. Secondly, uh, you remember that group of uh, multi-billionaires, multi-trillionaires, Richie Riches, that uh, are trying to uh, take Trump down? Now you know who's behind it, buying the stock exchanges. They want to keep their moneymaker running at all costs. Well, in order to do so, the more control you have over uh, influencing the values of things, the better able you are to fill your pockets. Just that simple, okay? Yes, the same thing applies um, what happened a few months ago where uh, Wells Fargo, tried to buy and take over the whole of the U.S. because the opening was available because certain things were already shut down or closed down. Right, uh, next question. Drake, uh, it doesn't seem like the U.S. dollar needs to be devalued, so should it be? No, not really. don't have to be. Uh, there are enough people getting away from it that uh, it'll devalue itself. Uh, you're probably going to see a a drop in the next month or so of at least 30%, which will really be interesting. Okay? Uh, Speed up and down the page. (laughs) Do you you think uh, Hitler will get by and steal the election and become president? Uh, No. Um, (laughs) I've been uh, hearing a whole lot of this political uh, fun and games stuff. Uh, about different things. First of all, the referendum votes that you're taking, the uh, uh, political wannabe votes, are not legally binding. Got that? I hope you understand this. Uh, That means that the Electoral College can do any damn thing they wish, whatever they feel like, whatever whim of the day, or, you know, my lunch lunch gave me indigestion, so I'm going to puke all over somebody kind of deal. Um, I have several sources that have contacted me recently that were really wound up. And by wound up, I mean um, on the point of having panic panic attacks. And these are the most mild uh, un, <coughs> people. These are people that you can't fluster. You can't bother them. Uh, it's like uh, messing up Trump's hair. You ain't going to see that day, okay? And these are the kind of people, and they're all wound up going, ooh. Well, <clears throat> here's how it is. From everybody I've talked to uh, who represents some large group, groups, 
and I'm talking in the millions. Um, <laughs> they've stipulated to me very, very succinctly, very clearly, that several things are looking to transpire. Hillary will probably be the Democratic candidate. Trump will most probably be the Republican candidate. If, in, that pro- in those processes, anybody is stupid enough to start World War III by playing games, that's what they're going to get. Now, I want you to understand two things. Number one, they can do what they want. And they really would like to uh, do something nasty to get Trump out of there. I don't think Hillary would uh, pair off well against uh, Rubio, (laughs) let alone Trump. So the situation is simple. These people believe that they are untouchable above the law. And uh, whatever their morality, uh, whatever they feel like uh, the morality for the day is, uh, it comes out more or less, the truth is what I say it is. Don't matter if you know different or not. And the problem with that, though, is that they don't want the silent majority to go, you son of a bitch, pick up a a pitchfork, 12-gauge, whatever, and come after them. Now, they're really seriously... A lot of them worried about that. Okay? That's the first level. Second level, they don't care. If you and all the BS that you're putting out, that, 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 had a couple of calls like that. Then you got the uh, ones who actually are in a position of being in charge. They have stipulated that no, the criminality, funding games financial, uh, ring around the rosy legalities and all those fun and games is a big no-no, and you know it, don't do it again. Now, I know personally right now of one person who decided to buck those people. Uh, <laughs> that person went from uh, multi-billionaire, and I'm, I'm talking about uh, you know money in the bank, Cash in fist kind of multimillionaire, not somebody that's got investments here and all that. I'm talking about cash up. They're living in their car. So I don't think that the people that are really in charge uh, have really put their foot down yet because it's not come to that point quite yet. If they need to, I will suggest to you that all the tears of these so called oligarchs, multibillionaires, and whatever will pay attention. Now, here's the choice. Very simple. We're going to rectify, fix, patch, repair, and permanently overhaul the mess we got. Or we die as a race. It ain't just America. It ain't just Latvia or someplace, you know, nobody ever heard of. I'm talking about the human race expiring yeah, and I don't think that uh, these people are going to uh, go for that. They already said that they didn't like the idea much at all, and they were going to put their foot down at the appropriate time. So one person got out of line, and they made a little bit of an example of that individual. The next one is going to be bigger and very probably will make the news. All of a sudden, their fortune, went to their, their bank account, went to zero. Oh, oh. I'm living in my station wagon in my brother's garage. Oh, my God. Uh huh. So I don't think they're going to get out of hand. If they want to start our second revolution, screw with the electoral. Go ahead. We'll all come after you. Everybody's got guns going to come wanting to shoot you. I don't think they want that either. Now you got the, the skinny on what I've been hearing. Okay? Yes, I agree, Jay. Um, since the information that Thomas revealed two weeks back on the show, uh, all we've been hearing is how it affects the United States and what's going on in the United States. Could you please explain how all this new information will affect us in Europe? This person lives in Ireland, and then uh, someone from Canada chimed in, and someone from South America also asked the same. So, Okay. 
very simply, America is supposed to be the bastion of freedom. Uh, 